Dependencies are useful for making sure your tasks are done in the correct order. Here's a really simple example. If you're going to build a house, you have to start by pouring a foundation. Only then can you frame the walls and roof, install the windows and doors, plumbing, electrical, etc. If these tasks aren't completed in the proper order, the house will never come together, at least not in any usable form. Dependencies become more important as your project gets larger and you need to reschedule a lot of tasks and keep everything in order. To add a dependency, simply hover over a task, click on the dot next to the taskbar, and drag the dependency line to the task that you would like to link it to. I'll do that one more time. You see the gray line indicating the dependency between tasks. Now all five of these tasks are linked together. This ensures that this task does not start before this task is finished. Another quick way to add dependencies is to hold down the Command key on a Mac or the Control key on Windows and click on each task you want to link. Then, once you've selected the appropriate tasks, press Shift-D to create the dependencies. This helps in scheduling to make sure that the proper order of your tasks is preserved. If you need to delete a dependency, you can simply double-click on a taskbar to open up the task pop-up, go down to the dependency section, and delete any dependencies that are linked to the task. Another option is to click on the dot to the left or right of a taskbar to delete dependencies. I'll go ahead and delete the remaining one. Now you see that there are no dependencies from this task. One important thing to note is the preference that you can enable to remove slack between dependent tasks when you drag them. By default, there can be a gap between dependent tasks. However, if you always want dependent tasks to move together, you can click on Menu, My Preferences, Remove Slack when dragging. Now, when you drag dependent tasks back and forth, there will never be a gap between them. Lastly, you may notice a red dependency line at times. This means that there's a dependency violation. This is because this product page task starts before this contact page task ends. There are two ways we can fix this. You can drag the task causing the violation so that it starts after the preceding task is complete, or if you have a whole chain of dependencies that are linked together with a lot of red violation lines, you can use this little trick to fix them. You can shake the top task to automatically fix the rest of them. Just grab the first task and slide it back and forth to auto-schedule all the tasks after it. As long as you move it back and forth, you can put the first task back where it was, or move it somewhere else in the timeline if you prefer, and all the other tasks will automatically move accordingly to fix the violations. Now you know dependencies inside and out. As always, you can find more information and see more how-to videos at teamgantcom support.